morning. It's about 6.30. I've been in the water every single day, but one day this week, it's Friday. Um, Wednesday I did the batteries. Yesterday I helped at the pool. Pick up down here. Okay, so when you get them, that does not mean you are about to run out of air. Um, you still have so much left in you to push through. That's about the mental game of free diving too. <laughs> They're not fun. So is it like different from the urge to breathe? Yes. Okay. So the urge to breathe is from. So we're going to start with what I kind of explained: um, breathing and then doing the guided breathe up. Then we're going to do the peak inhale and then. Inhale. Okay, so for the next minute, just get relaxed, breathe. How long was the guy? One minute. The show it was a minute? Wait, that, that felt a lot shorter. That felt a lot shorter. Oh, I never felt so easy. I'm going to take what we just did here, and once you do peak, peak inhale, you're going to do static instead of diving. So many of them broke their previous best statics and it was so amazing to see and um, can't wait to see them again today. So this morning I'm going out with Andre and David and we are going to go do sharks. That's the plan as of now. But it's supposed to be beautiful flat today. Once we're done we are going to meet with Rachel and everyone else and do some uh, basically do some videography, some free diving, some photography of coral restoration and coral cleaning via free diving and scuba. So this is very exciting. Rachel and I have been talking about implementing free diving with coral restoration projects and coral planting for two years now and I'm finally spending time here and it's so nice. Um, one thing I'm kind of amused at is the fact that I've been here for a little over three weeks and I still have not gotten so much done. I mean the walls definitely getting smaller. Yesterday I was doing the DC DC charger and one of the terminals slipped off of the wire and I don't have another one and Harbor Side is about an hour away and I don't have a car. But I've been editing. I am behind on editing but I can upload now which is great. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy to be spending this time in Nassau out in the water and getting to see everyone. Um, I have a lot of good friends here and it's good to actually spend time with them because that's something I missed last year. So um, yeah, stay tuned for a beautiful, busy day.
just got out of the water and I got my first ever tiger shark and now we are en route to our next spot. Windsor Marine Biology Academy is partnered with the Perry Institute for Marine Science and Reef Rescue Network. Together they strive to preserve coral reefs for future generations through coral reef restoration, marine research, and education. The Reef Rescue Network helps partner organizations set up coral nurseries throughout the Bahamas and the Caribbean islands. Coral nurseries are vital to coral rehabilitation as they can grow endangered species at faster rates with more favorable conditions such as more current and less competition with other species. Windsor Academy students and Patty Reef Rescue certified divers help monitor and maintain these coral nurseries here in Nassau. The goal with the nurseries is to be able to outplant the corals back onto local reefs to improve diversity, rebuild the coral reef populations, and inspire greater regional conservation ethic. It is worth noting that there has been immense success with this as some of the outplanted corals have spawned, indicating success of the nurseries. After we visited the nursery site, we went to a nearby patch reef where a coral disease called stony coral tissue loss disease is having a devastating impact. This disease, which exposes the bare limestone skeleton of corals, has spread from Florida to over 26 different countries in the Caribbean, infecting and killing some of the largest and oldest corals. The exact pathogen has not been identified yet, but targets stony corals such as ring corals, star corals, pillar coral, maize coral, and flower coral, to name a few. Scientists and trained divers are able to treat and save corals by applying an antibiotic paste. Solutions and treatments to this disease are still being researched. However, water contamination is a large problem, sourcing from bilges, toxic chemicals, and a few others. We can help stop the spread of the disease by disinfecting our bilge water and dive gear between dive sites. If you would like to learn more or support, the link for more information is in the description. We just got out of our third dive of the day. Um, a few of them are still out there finishing up some shots. It was just a beautiful day and we finished off and I got some good content of what they do study here with the Marine Academy and a lot of the research they're doing. So I'm so happy I got to show you guys that. And um, it's back to boat projects the next few days. So thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, giving a thumbs up and especially patrons. Appreciate you all and I'm so blessed to be able to have days like these to share with you. I mean the water is just stunning. <laughs> Got it. Another beautiful day out in the water.